All right, there we go. That should work. Hold on, hold on. All right, there we go. It is like, oh, I need a day just to relax. How are you guys? What is going on? Can you guys hear me? Literally, I'm like, oh, it's just one of those days. Yeah, so I check my email. My professor tells me I need to redo an assignment. Everybody, because she couldn't, something didn't load up. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I was going to do homework, and I just said, fuck it, pretty much. So... I'm on here. I'm going to hang out for a little bit, discuss a lot of the real estate investment trusts that uh, I uh, went over these past few days. There's a lot of them. So I really want to go over that probably from about 1045 to um, maybe 1115, 1130. So I'll do that and go from there. All right, let's see if I can get Matt money on here. Send him. Did you? Oh, I have to, I have to show you guys this. This is pretty funny. I got uh, Hidden Freedom Investing and uh, GW all riled up uh, yesterday. <laughs> it was pretty funny when they were live. So I'll have to bring that up. I'll see if I can get them on there on here. Uh, what did I buy? Let's see what let's see what I bought today. I, an M1. I threw in. Um, I threw in some money a little bit. Let's see. I, I threw in ninety dollars now. Uh, I actually made a pretty big Gumroad sale on my for one of my friends on here, which I might just throw in. Let's see. I bought uh, PMT, SLG, uh, VC and uh nrz and capital southwest corp i did do a video on that thank you and um cswc is a um business development company and i'm like normally pretty iffy on those but uh yeah um it's very attractive so i couldn't really say no to that in uh Gosh, I'm almost at 6,000 subscribers. I mean, I'll just keep on pumping out videos for you guys. Um, so let's see. we got a few more minutes. I'm going to type out pretty much a lot of these. I'm going to explain to you each one of them that I bought and why I own them or ones that are on my radar. So um, I think you guys make sure you get a pen and paper. I mean, this is probably something to look into. Uh, I mean, I got a huge list that I have um, just to look into. Holy shit, I do have a list that I had. I mean, my list that I have uh, before I go on there. So get a pen and paper. Enjoy yourself. This is going to be uh, a fun time. And uh, oh, I don't want to do this lecture tomorrow or do this homework, but I got to do it. PLTR, not a dividend stock yet. Well, I, I mean, will there be a dividend stock? I don't know. So, um, you know, that's one to look into. You think they'll be a, I don't know. I, I don't know if they will be a um, dividend stock, but uh, got Moran Capital on here. Uh, congratulations in uh, getting into uh, graduate school. Um, make sure you guys check him out. He's a pretty avid follower. 
him and I um, message each other all the time on Instagram. So just start up and coming. I think we have the uh, the Knights, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, Kyle Wren, you know, the Knights of Wren. I think Moran Capital is probably a Knights of uh, Darth Divinen. Oh, uh, let me let me worry about NP school right now. Uh, NP school is one thing. Once I start travel nursing, the money is a lot more. I mean, my employer literally is on their hands and knees to keep nurses. They're like, we're giving you five extra dollars an hour. So, I mean, it's a toxic environment. I don't want to deal with that. I'm telling you, once you guys start getting older and you can go anywhere and the balls are in your court, I don't know how old you guys are, but I'm 36. And when it's time to, it's done. It's like when you're in a relationship with someone and it's just not there and you find everything to nitpick about and, you know, everything quirks you and pisses you off it, and it's done or you're dating someone and it's done. That's how I feel with my uh, employer. And um, I'm, I mean, literally I could be a travel nurse and make a lot more. So I'm going to start throwing more in that be hundred percent debt free and start going from there. So, you know, my advice to you guys is always have the balls in your court and have multiple options when it comes to things, because, you know, if it gets nasty and stuff, you know, uh, that's what you got to do. Gosh, people are already texting me. Um, yeah. So we're going to start probably in a few minutes and, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really interesting with real estate investment trust. You have to be very careful because some of them that I did post videos on, they have decreased their dividends. So you have to be very careful with dividend stocks and specifically uh, real estate investment trusts. They are, um, thank you, with the, with the Browns thing. Nice win. Uh, see how Ohio State does with the quarterback situation. Uh I, I mean, if they don't get in, I, I hope the Big Ten team gets in. I mean, I'm not a, the biggest fan of Penn State or Michigan, but I would like for them to get in over Oklahoma. Hopefully none of you guys are Oklahoma fans. But um, So we're going to get started. So I have a huge list of real estate investment trusts, some of them that I own, some of them that I've mentioned. I mean, there is a lot of them that I have. I have business development companies. I have a lot of these. And when I make lists on things that I'm interested in, I um, I, I do a little bit of digging. So I, I spend at least maybe five, 10 minutes, eh, maybe about 15 minutes uh, strategizing on certain real estate investment trusts out there specific ones that are um, healthcare or industrial. I think healthcare and industrial are very strong. NNN, like uh, the video that I just posted on NNN, um, that one is a really good one as well with a 5% dividend yield. So symbol NNN, I mean, they got like 3000 properties. So that's a really good one that I posted on. And I don't know if you guys saw my blooper, I couldn't say, uh, you know, something when I was reviewing AmeriCold Realty Trust. Cold is another one. So that's a special real estate investment trust, basically where food is like frozen and food, you know, needs to be, um, you know, distributed before they go to the stores. This is a storage place. It's frozen food. So AmeriCold is a very good one to look at uh, for your dividend portfolio. Nice dividend increases, very strong job security. And uh, I don't see those guys, uh, I just see those guys going up, going up, increasing their dividends over time. Uh, the other one is um, National Healthcare Investors, NHI. Don't quote me on that. I'm pr pretty sure they did at one point decrease their dividend. And uh, But again, this is a healthcare real estate investment trust. They did take a little bit of a blow. So keep an eye on the dividends. You know, Go to NASDAQ.com. I always tell you guys. Go to Nas. Thank you for that like. Uh, go to Nasdaq.com and check out the dividends and the way that they are increased or decreased. And if they start decreasing, ask yourself why, and then start looking at the FFO and 
one thing that I, I saw that uh, I may have to post the link, but you know, some of these real estate investment trusts that have a very low PE rush, everybody says, don't worry about PE, but very low PE and a decreasing dividend and price per share, something ain't right there. So just keep an eye on certain real estate investment trusts, specifically the mortgage back uh, real estate investment trust. Um, here is a covered call mortgage backed rate that I own and I have my M1 finance dividend portfolio Remol, R E M L. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of mortgage backed rates, um, but Penny Mac PMT, what is that one I have? Um, let me just verify that one I have, that one's down and it looks okay uh, is a um, M rate. So PMT, I own that one. I added that to my M1 finance dividend portfolio. Uh, LTC properties, that is a healthcare real estate investment trust monthly dividends. I love my monthly dividend stocks. LTC monthly dividends. So I love LTC as a monthly dividend stock. That one you cannot say no to. I own it. Again, none of this in this you know live stream is financial advice for entertainment purposes only. But I like these guys. Slowly they have increased their dividend and um, they're very strong. DOC positions, uh, Realty Trust. I own that one. I, I feel very strong with that one. I'm going to continue to reinvest. I actually changed my percentage on M1 Finance to focus on uh, DOC, MPW, and um, some of the other ones. Now, keep an eye on this one, Well Tower. That's a pretty popular real estate investment trust. Don't quote me on that, but I think they decrease their dividend. But again, this is another real estate investment trust. This is one, and this is the hottest, the hottest rate right now is Omega Health and Care Investors. High yield dividend stock. They're big. They're increasing their dividend over time. Beds are getting filled. They're pretty strong. So I like that one. MPW, that's another one that I have posted videos on. Um, rarely I'm going to go, I'm not going to be going live as much uh, just because of like school being crazy. I'm telling you, like starting tomorrow, it's boom, 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 boom. But I will be posting videos and stuff. Um, today's a rare day because my professor pretty much like screwing up everything and we have to redo an assignment. And I just don't, I, my mind after working on the COVID unit, it's just. Checked out. No, nope, I'll do my lecture tomorrow and do my assignment. Uh, the other one is um, let's see, LTC, DOC, um, MPW. I really like MPW. That is a really good real estate investment trust that has done very well. I did uh, a video yesterday with three industrial rates. Uh, stag, uh, uh, Monmouth, and so keep an eye on these ones. That's a good one. Another one that I had was Office Property OPI. That one I have an M1 Finance store and stag. Of course, I mean that's that's a given. The, I, I'm getting there. Okay. I, I, I got those guys. Store, um, store is always, store is one of the best dividend growth stocks out there. It's cheap. It's affordable. Um, you can't say no to that. Stag, monthly dividends, monthly dividends, slow increase in monthly dividends, realty income, so well diversified. Agree Realty Corporation, SLG. I mean, I'm going to ask you guys, what is your favorite monthly dividend stock? Other than O, other than O, I want to know why it is your favorite one other than, oh, I'm saying this one more time. Why is this your favorite monthly dividend stock? You, this is this is a tough one. I want to see what you guys think.
All right. I, I agree. I, I think the compounded annual growth rate is, is very strong. I think, I mean, stag is a good one. I'm, I'm, I, I have land, L A N D. This farmland, and of course, my opinion, the best rate to buy right now is I I P R. I literally just discussed this video on these guys, and I'm. <sighs> I never should have had them on M1 Finance. I, I honestly never should have. I should have just thrown them on my E-Trade dividend portfolio and just let it fly. My gosh, if I did it that way, um, the dividends would be flowing. I mean, I'm still kicking myself in the shin to, as to why I added them on M M1 Finance. It's killing me. <laughs> it's literally killing me. Oh, uh, let, let, me, let me show you guys one thing. So uh, one thing to crack you guys up real quick. Let me go on Instagram. Uh, I got to find the link. This is hilarious. All right, let me. I... You guys got to see their faces, uh, Hidden Freedom and uh, GW. Uh, definitely. Um, I had to get those guys going. That that was probably one of my uh, funniest uh, trolling moments to get those guys going. I mean, love those guys to death. Check those guys out in their uh, channel. Um, Hidden Freedom is probably going to retire next year, and um, G Dubs, uh, you know, he's like the ETF guru. If I can get him on here one of these days, just discuss real estate investment trust incredible um, people. You know, I'm very fortunate to be surrounded by those guys. See, I, um, so store, I like store. Um, I'm trying to think what other ones are really good. Uh, Wayhauser. Have you guys looked at Wayhauser? That's another one. I, I got that one from Matthew Ramey. Um, that was a really attractive one. Um, still is. Well, I, I mean, I'm not a fan of those guys. It's just, they just don't, their revenue is not attractive and they decrease their dividend over time. I mean, all of you guys that are in this chat, I mean, I would much rather get a raise than lose money in the long run with dividends or passive income. So, that's kind of the way I see things. You know, I want dividends to increase. You know, I, I want to raise. I want I don't want to, you know, um, you know, that's the thing about these mortgage backed re real estate investment trusts. I mean, the best one I think is Arbor Realty Trust. That has to be the best mortgage backed uh, real estate investment trust out there. I mean, it's it's very attractive, it's very strong. Oh, I got to, trying to get Matt money on here. It you got to you, you guys would be surprised at how many shares he owns on O. I, I'm gonna try to get it out of him. It's really uh, no, I love Iron Mountain. That's one I forgot to mention with uh, a uh, healthcare real estate investment trust. Own a lot of those shares. They've been increasing their dividends. Very strong. Um, Real estate investment trust. They're very good with the cloud service um, and any medical documents. You know, like say, like this is a medical document, it has to be stored somewhere, and they shred it. So they make money with that. You have to store stuff for X amount of years. There's actually an Iron Mountain um, 
like building or something in Cleveland, Ohio, which is pretty cool. So I, I like those guys. I, that's one I forgot about. What about American Tower? That's another one. There he is. All right, Matt, I'm trying to get this out of you. How many shares do you own of O? You guys, you guys uh, better not be drinking anything. You're going to spit out uh, your pop or your water or whatever you're drinking right now once you hear it. Matt, I wish you were alive. Uh, gosh. Can you imagine that? 450 shares of realty income. Oh, that is that is incredible. I was just uh, telling these guys, I showed them the video of uh, getting uh, GW and Hidden Freedom. Uh, no, I'm not on StreamYard. I'm just live. I mean, I probably should get on that. Um, no, I just, I'm just on, uh, you know, the YouTube live thing. I don't know how the hell they use that. That's, the that's half the problem. So, I'm, I mean, everybody's asked me to collaborate. Uh, there's a few high caliber people that want me to do videos with them. So I better figure out how to get on these and, uh, start uh, doing collaborations. That's pretty impressive. 452. So how much, 452, that's, holy cow. You have 620 of stag? Jesus. So, Matt, wow, that's that's a lot. And then stag's a very good dividend growth stock, so is realty income. So, you know, these stocks, like, Stag, like uh, Realty Income, I can even say EPR Properties, hopefully, I mean, eventually, but they're going to increase their dividend, hoping so, I know, but uh, oh, Will, uh, Stag will eventually, um, I'm trying to think what other ones, Good, I mean, Goods, Decent, Land has been increasing its dividend uh, pretty consistently, but Land is only like a 2% dividend yield. It's not the most attractive, but um, still pretty good for that. Gosh, I mean, I'm trying to think. I mean, Arbor Realty Trust, um, you know, I'm I'm not a fan still of AGNC. I want to see them increase their revenue. I want to see consistent increases. I mean, they, they have a lot of potential to be a... Um, very strong real estate investment trust, uh, especially a mortgage-backed REIT, uh, but it, they're just, I don't know what is going on with them. And then NLY, I, I'm not a fan of those guys either. I just I, I just don't think that they're very strong. Uh, Matt, what do you think about NLY? There's a lot of people that are pretty um, strong in NLY. And what do you guys think about NLY? I see uh, X amount of people on here. Try to get you guys on here. Oh, we are live. And Matt, money is there. We are live, and look who is on there. There you go, Matt. I tagged you. Live, and look who is on there. What is going on? We are live. There we go. So I'm trying to think another thing that, um, Matt, I, I wish you were there with, with GW and Hidden Freedom Investing to see their uh, reaction when I made that comment. That was uh, priceless. 
Uh, Matt, do you own any other um, real real estate investment trust? Do you feel good on store? Do you feel good on um, IIPR? I figured you would maybe do call options on uh, IIPR, throw puts in IIPR. FRT is not a bad one. WPC carry, I, I love WPC carry. Absolutely uh, got that one with a dip. And uh, 100 shares, that's, yeah, I like those guys with consistent dividend increases. Very strong one. It's a high yield uh, real estate investment trust. It's very strong. And um, gosh, they're just going to keep on increasing. It's nice to have a raise and everything. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty powerful. Yeah, I like that one. That one's uh, pretty strong. Absolutely. I'm trying to think. I, I mean, IAPR is just unbelievable how fast they've grown. And they're like the only Mary Jane real estate investment trust that has just made a killing. I mean, you know, you're in MJ, the ETF, you're in Kronos, you're and any of that doesn't matter because IPR, you're getting something out of it. And I think that's probably my favorite Mary Jane uh, real estate investment trust out there. I mean, just what a strong one. That's yeah, uh, really interesting. Um, you know, America, ACC is another one. The American campus uh, communities. That's a very strong real estate investment trust. That one's going to get bigger. And, uh, you know, people are living on campus. Students are on campus. Uh, that's that's very attractive. I mean, I'm just having fun. I just want, I just want to have some fun. I mean, it is what it is. It's not a numbers game. I mean, I don't want to be like... Um, uh, I mean, how do I want to describe this? I want to at least know or act like I know what I'm doing or I don't want to pull off a Keenan Grace and just like act like a lunatic on TV and just just for followers. I mean, I'm not like that. I mean, I, I try to be legit as possible. And um, I mean, that kid blew up, but it's like, do you even know what you're talking about, kid? I mean, half the time he's just blabbing and blabbing and blabbing. Uh, but um, I'm just having fun. I mean, that's that's what it's all about. Networking, you know, meeting, you know, strong investors and going from there. Thank you, uh, Matt. You did not have to, uh, you know, give me, you know, a tip and stuff. But thank you. I, I appreciate it. And, um, you know, it's... Uh, it's it's a lot of work. It, it, it is a lot of work and stuff. And, um, you know, that's um, you just got to keep on going. I mean, I have a few strategies. I have a few contingency plans, you know, pretty much with work. I'm going to be leaving in the summer. I don't care if they know or not. And I'm going to be travel nursing. I want to make some money and just throw it in my dividend portfolio. I really want to start racking up those dividends with QYLD, RYLD, XYLD, uh, realty income, a lot of the monthly dividends, uh, agree realty corporation ADC is the compounded annual growth rate in ADC has some serious potential. So Matt, um, have you looked into ADC at all? If any of you guys looked into ADC, I just, uh, th this thing is just a force. I mean, it's. I'd like to make a comparison with the Browns. You got Clowney, and you got Miles Garrett. You got like the twin towers of the monthly dividend stocks. I absolutely love ADC. I'm going to start throwing money in my M1 Finance dividend portfolio, and their dividend increases have been consistent. Now, again, you know they're sixty, seventy dollars, but. The monthly dividends from Agree Realty Corporation is unbelievable. 
the way it's grown so fast. And I'm telling you, when that when the board of directors said at the start of the year, we're going to be a monthly dividend stock, ballsy. That was a ballsy move. I mean, they knew what the hell they were doing and started to convert to a monthly dividend stock. And their growth rate, their dividend growth rate is quite impressive. And I see them potentially passing up uh, realty income with their dividend uh, increases because they're very aggressive and they know what the hell they're doing. And I'm very impressed with the way they handle things. I, if I can, I, I'd love to have these guys interviewed and um, that would be amazing. I, I think to have these guys, you know, some of these people interviewed live, I think that would probably, you know, that would be pretty sweet just to discuss things, them and EPR properties. If I can ever get, you know, an interview with those two guys, I would absolutely do it. I mean, they're just powerful, um, very good monthly dividend stocks. EPR, I mean, kudos to those guys for, you know, resuming their dividend uh, post pandemic. I knew it would happen and I definitely capitalized on that dip and I'm making pretty good passive income. Yeah, um, ADC, Agree Realty Corporation. I mean, it's they're a force, man. I mean, they are they're very impressive. I mean, absolutely um, very impressive. Matt, it's like how would I give a description? It's like um, Ohio State this year in football, and Penn State is like. Something's going to happen. I mean, could they pass them up? That could be a possibility. Could they, could they still be, you know, number two? It, it's one of those things like I don't want to see this game because it's something's going to happen. It's just that feeling that you get. I mean, it should never go on feeling or emotions, but it's like it, you can feel the pendulum swinging. That's kind of how I see it with Agree Realty Corporation, with their dividend increasing. I mean, wow. I mean, they're smaller. They're way smaller than O. I mean, O has, what, 6,000 properties? But these guys are just coming with a vengeance, and it's just very it's very impressive to see what these guys have done. Their business uh, model is uh, strong, and um, holy cow, they're just going to get bigger and bigger. You would be impressed, Matt. I, I, I'm telling you, you would be very impressed that once I saw these guys, my jaw just about dropped. I mean, this is not SLG where they have X amount of buildings in Manhattan. This is like these guys are building up pretty quick. They know what they're doing. They're efficient. And my gosh, the dividend increases are incredible. I mean, O's dividend hasn't jumped up too fast. They do increase it, but it's not as fast as Agree Realty Corporation. That's why I've been like really like impressed with these guys. I mean, it's exciting to see these guys uh, grow. Yeah, those are pretty strong ones, but um, yeah, it's uh, let's see what's another one. So SLG, I mean, does that look good? Five percent. I mean, look at O versus ADC. I mean, a little bit of a difference. I mean, that's oh, – legs are hurting from working earlier. I mean, five per uh, – I, I still like their increases, their monthly dividend. Hmm. You guys hear me?
So, <laughs> well, I, I was going to tell you, Matt, that, uh, well, maybe, but I was going to mention something that, uh, you know, with ADC and it's kind of like Ohio State, Penn State this year, if you can hear, but, um, you know, there's, they're very powerful. Uh, I, I'm just very impressed with how they are. Um, LTC, they haven't, LTC, LTC hasn't really increased their dividend over time, but I feel pretty uh, confident that uh, over time they will and go from there. What? I like them. They increase their dividends. I mean, eventually, but they have a high yield. Um, I'm okay with that. NTR, uh, no, NTR. Have I? I've heard of them. I really didn't look into them. Do they distribute a dividend? Uh, I do see a dividend decrease in 928.21 from NTR. Um, look, I mean, O's price per share has dropped. I'm okay with that. LTC's price per share has dropped. You're still getting dividend. <sighs> oh, man. Well, all right. Here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to post that link again when I let uh, hit him freedom with my comment with AGNC and, and prospect. I'm gonna bring that back up. I'm just gonna show you his face and GW's face when I said SPHD as well. I, uh, if AGNC increase their dividend, look, I'm not anti AGNC, but if AGNC, I'm, I'm turned off completely. Um, AGNC, I'm, I'm already dead. You can't hurt me. So it doesn't matter. I've died too many times working in healthcare. You, you can't hurt me. Um, AGNC, if they increase their dividend, if their revenue was good and their business model was good, yes, I would. If I see a dividend increase, if I one time if they increase their dividend, they're on my radar. I, I might consider them, but I just don't like their business model. Um, I don't like their. Um, they've decreased their dividend over time. I mean. You know, if you buy a wine, you want to age it and be better. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I did a little. I, I had this 
get those guys going with that comment. That was beautiful. Uh, <laughs> I mean, AGMC is a very popular dividend stock. It's, I mean, if you're making money, uh, if you're making money with AGNC and you bought the dip, that's that's not bad. But if you bought it when it was way expensive and it started to decrease its dividend, ow, yeah, that would that would really hurt. Um, Stag is good. I'm not look. Okay, if you bought the dip when AGNC took the biggest nosedive during the pandemic and you bought it and its dividend is stagnant and you just bought that dip and you're just reinvesting, I'm not, you know, I, that's not a bad move, you know, but if they're decreasing their dividend, oof, that hurts. I don't, I don't like dividend decreases. Now you can play the pandemic card. Like, oh, this is what happened. This is why we're not doing that. That's one thing. But consistently decreasing price per share, decreasing the dividend, that stings. That really hurts. So that's that's why, that's why I tell you guys, when I do these videos, you, you go over dividend you know, increases or decreases. You ask yourself, why is this going on? Like EPR properties. Why did EPR properties suspend their dividend? Why is their dividend 25 cents, not 35 or whatever it was? Makes perfect sense. They're a real estate investment trust focused on entertainment properties, golf, you know, all these resorts. And they just, that's what they're specialized in. If they're, if they're a healthcare real estate investment trust, they'd be fine. But pandemic things happen and that's what happens. I mean, I invested in, um, Well, oh, I mean, QYLD is a covered call ETF. You're going to get something range from $0.17 cents to maybe $0.23. Cents. I mean, long term, I mean, I, I would obviously buy something like STAG or um, Realty Income over you know QYLD. If I had an option to have 400 shares of QYLD or 400 shares of... Um, um, realty income, realty income right now, I would say realty income. Stag is really nice. I mean, I, I like stag. Uh, let's see land. I mean, that land is a little bit cheaper. Uh, SUI. Um, let me, I'm going to look at that one. Uh, I've looked at that a few times. Wow. Uh, that's pretty good. That's too expensive for me. Um, with a 1.77% dividend yield. If you bought the dip, wow. Uh, TOL, uh, Toll Brothers Inc. Now here's the thing. I mean, I like dividend stocks with a 3 to 5% dividend yield. I did have Wendy's for a long time. I may rebuy Wendy's. If they start increasing their dividend, you know, sure, why not? And they're 20-some dollars, sure. Uh, but um, I like the 3 to 5% range, preferably 5. I mean, I'm probably going to buy IBM. I'm probably going to buy 3M. I'm probably going to buy... Um, uh, you know, a lot of the dividend stocks that are high yield dividend stocks that increase their dividends over time, uh, I, I would be crazy not to. So um, I, I just like the three to five percent range usually with my dividend stocks. Three or above, let's just say three or above, as long as they're stable. So Gain is a um, business development company. 
Maine is a business development company. J just to let you know, I mean, out of all four of them that you mentioned, I like Maine the most. But diversification is important. I mean, um, HRZN is a pretty good business development company as well. Wow, I didn't realize. Wow, we're flying with time on here. Yeah, 60. There we go. And then it's going to be 100, and it's going to be 200, and it's going to be 300, and it's going to be 500. That's what's going to happen. That's a beautiful thing of compound interest, and you're getting yourself a raise every time. That's what I like. That's that's what you want to. That's what you want to do. It's going to jump up. I mean, it's starting to get exciting for me with my I'm. I mean, once it, with M1, once I get to maybe two hundred thousand, I'm just going to leave it alone, reinvest, and then I'm just going to focus on E trade and just start buying like dividend stocks in there. Just really um, probably capitalizing on Matthew Ramey's dividend investing strategy, and uh, really just pounding away. I mean, just you know, just pounding and pounding and pounding you know you got to grind i mean you know pick up a side hustle pick up I'm telling you i mean i know some people people i've met that literally will work at a bar for a season throw it in their dividend portfolio and you know it's crazy i mean if your employer gives you a 400 dollars a month retirement pension Imagine getting 400 in dividends, and then it goes to 420, 430, 440. And then it just keeps on increasing over time. I mean, it's exciting. I mean, I show you my estimated income and the way things increase and everything. It's it's pretty uh, exciting. I mean, SUI and TOL, um, Rand Capital, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's going to increase its dividend. There's, you know, you can be a 1% dividend stock and increase your dividend you're still attractive because you're increasing your dividend just like apple i mean apple's still increasing its dividend so what the hell's wrong with that nothing absolutely nothing as long as these stocks are increasing their dividends that's what you want doesn't matter who they are i don't care if you're jp morgan you go to one percent if you're increasing your dividend that is the goal is to increase dividends MMM, oh yeah, 3M is one of my favorites, and just got one of my Littman stethoscopes, cardiology Littman stethoscope from 3M. That's that's a big one, you know. That's uh, uh, 3M, and guess what I was wearing today? A 3M mask on the COVID unit, a few 3M masks. So you know, that's the thing about uh, those guys. They they made a killing with that, and there's. They're not going anywhere. I mean, my gosh, uh, telemetry strips, you know, here and stuff on, if, if you ever see someone in a hospital, family member, and just look at, just look at all the logos of 3M that are out there. I mean, it's ridiculous how many products they have them. And over here uh, in uh, Northeast Ohio, Cardinal Health, oh my God, how many Cardinal Health products are in the um, are in the hospital. I mean, no wonder why those guys increase their dividend. They make a killing. Yes, and Arbor Realty Trust is one of my favorites. Absolutely uh, a juggernaut. I mean, it's a unicorn. I mean, just reinvest, reinvest, and reinvest, you know?
can't believe it's geez, I can't believe it's almost eleven thirty. We have we have a good following, man. I can't wait till I'm done with this semester. I'm gonna try to be maybe live like every day for an hour on my um yeah, McDonald's is pretty much a uh, – McDonald's is McDonald's. I mean, what are you going to do? I had some dude tell me that Sears with their real estate investment trust is making a comeback. Get out of here, dude. Sears? Who buys anything from Sears? LMT. Yeah, Lockheed Martin. What a beast. What a beast of a company. I'm surprised they haven't split yet. Well, I mean, Lockheed Martin, just be well diversified. I mean, look at Boeing. Boeing's a dump hole. I mean, maybe if you bought the dip and then sold. I did buy the dip and then sold and threw it in some stocks. But um, mm, yeah, I don't know about that. Be well diversified. I mean, there's nothing wrong with owning Lockheed Martin. What a... It's like owning uh, BlackRock. I mean, they're a dividend juggernaut, like Moody's. Moody's is a really good, you know, dividend stock. So there's nothing wrong with that. Thank you for that like. Jeez, we got eight likes on here. Uh, some of his real estate investment trust, yes, I have heard of, but I'd have to look into it a little bit. Mr. Money, can you hear me finally, Matt? Uh, we're going to get, I'm going to probably do about five more minutes. I didn't even realize it's 1130. Don't you have too much fun on here? That's what happens. And we give it about eh, eleven thirty-five. We'll go from there. <laughs> uh, VC, I have VC. DEA, good one. GMRE, AMT, good one. HTA, it's a good one. Did I do healthcare trusts HTA? No, I did not. Didn't discuss that one. All right, Arbor Realty Trust. I love it. That's all I have to say. Nothing wrong with that.
Well, not according to one guy that was telling me that Sears is the real deal. Okay. Of course I like MPW. I own it. 3M I like. I just don't have enough money for it yet. Well, Warren Buffett, um, yeah, that would be interesting. There'd be some stocks that we could probably debate with him and beat him because actually he hasn't done too well against the S and P and, um, but we don't make as much money as him. So he probably wins on that one. Yeah, stores stores a good one. I mean, very good dividend increases. It's cheap. It has a it's a high yield dividend stock. How do you say no to store capital? Really, I mean, it's a good one. I mean, I mean, a lot of you guys. I mean, maybe I'm young. I'm 36, but you got it. I mean, real estate investment trust. You got to be aggressive, man. You got to go in for the kill. And real estate investment trust, they are down. I'm just going to sum this up. Real estate investment trust. I, being younger, I, maybe I'm 36, you can call me younger, but you have to be aggressive, especially a lot of you guys that are way younger than me. Real estate investment trusts increase their dividends. They're in demand. They are solid things. They're well diversified. You have to be aggressive. So me, my honest opinion, this is not financial advice, but- if you're in your 20s, spend it just, uh, this is my honest opinion, spend three years just buying real estate investment trust, high yield real estate investment trust. That's my honest opinion. And three to 5% dividend yield, maybe four to 5%, be very aggressive with that. And then you know, I'm eventually going to start being more conservative, Hormel Foods, Pepsi, you know, those things. Um, you have to be, when the younger you are, the more aggressive you have to be, especially with your dividend portfolio. Now, I'm not saying be a gunslinger, you know, oh, I'm going to AGNC 8%, you know, dividend yield. Find things 3 to 5% dividend yield that increase your dividends. If you can get 4 or 5, especially those healthcare um you know, real estate investment trusts, those are pretty strong. So that's my advice to you guys. It's um, entertainment purposes. It's not uh, financial advice. But um, again, if you guys are new to my YouTube channel and you guys are followers, I mean, my videos are free for you guys. And again, one more thing. Hold on. Before I conclude, let me go one more thing. Let me get on there. Let me find that. Hold on, just skimming. You know it. That link right there. If you are, if you want to have some fun, be a dividend investor. I have a dividend warrior glass for you guys. Um, you guys that already have subscribed to my channel, you are automatically recruited as a dividend warrior. So um, a lot of you guys. If you are, if you follow me on Twitter, send me a message. Uh, when I do Dividend Warrior Wednesday, I'll have a, a special shout out to you guys as my followers. So if you are following me on Twitter, make sure you message me. You know, Moran, you know, that's you're one of them. 
um, just message me. Try to have a special shout out to a lot of my followers. I think that'd be fun for uh, Divin Warrior Wednesday. But click that link right here. I mean, I have. If you guys are interested, this you know goes to my channel. Um, I'm gonna you know invest a little bit in my channel, but it is a glass, so you can drink your favorite drink. Um, you can uh, drink water, mixed drink, whatever you want to do, because. You know, this is a Dividend Warrior glass in the front, and in the back it says Dividends are your uh, destiny. So if you're interested, check it out. Um, you know, it's goes towards the channel, and you can, you know, enjoy yourself with a, uh, one of your favorite brews during Christmas time or when you're earning dividends, and you can just – it's a good feeling, so check it out. And, um, you know, you guys have been fantastic. You know, I'm starting to have apparel – um, I'm going to probably do coffee go cups and glasses. So, um, you know, if you're interested, check it out and, um, you know, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss future videos. And yeah, likes to get paid dividends, but yeah, I know BRKA Berkshire A and does not, I know. Uh, that's very interesting. You're right. But, uh, you know, this is my link um, for my apparel if you're interested. Um, I'm an avid coffee drinker. And um, if you want to call your, be a dividend knight, that's the elite group of uh, the dividend warriors. So check it out. It'll be a knight of Darth Dividend if you click that with some of the apparel. So um, I'm going to get going. But uh, you guys take care and have a good one.